I've had these amaryllis bulbs for a few years now and they've been reblooming for me every year and so now that they're in full bloom at the moment, a bit late this year, it's a bit after Christmas, I need to start planning what I'm going to do to get them ready for next Christmas. Um, as soon as they start withering, I'm going to chop the flower stalk right down to the neck down here and then take the individual bulbs out. There are two grown ones and then a baby as well because one of them had a baby last year. And so I'll take them and plant them into individual plant pots with some nutrient rich compost to really help them grow and get build up their bulb again because they've used up all their nutrient supplies to create all those beautiful, I mean, these flowers and also all the lovely foliage too. And so um, I'll start feeding it as well, feeding each of the individual bulbs in their individual pots, sort of maybe every two weeks and water them as usual. Just treat them like real, normal, regular house plants because I have to keep them indoors. Because I'm in, the, in England, they're not hardy for frost or anything and it's quite cold at the moment. So I would need to keep them inside until April or May when any chance of frost is gone. Then they can actually go outside and sit in a nice sunny spot. They like morning sunlight. Um, so I put them outside um, and just keep on watering them and feeding them and everything until September. Then I would stop feeding them, stop watering them, take them inside. And once all the foliage dies down after a week or two, I would snip off any dead foliage because you want them to sort of suck up all the nutrients from the leaves and, and get everything back into the bulb to really build that bulb up. And then, um, sort of after that, after everything's been snipped off and everything's clean, just take them, put them somewhere cool and dark and leave them there for eight weeks at least. And um, after that, just take them back out again, pop them on a windowsill and let them start growing. It'll take about six weeks for them to start flowering. And that way, if we time it right, we should get some beautiful flowers for Christmas. So that's the plan.